So in this video I'm going to show you how to create queues in CAD Link's Visual Production Manager. So it's really easy to do this and the first thing we're going to do is open up our VPM. We're going to go to Queue, we're going to go to Manage Queues. In Manage Queues this is where we can uh, create, we can delete, we can copy queues that we already have. So I'm going to go to that green plus symbol, I'm going to add a new queue. So I've already set up an Oki Color Painter M series. And what I want to do is I want to create another queue for this, but for this one I want to have a banner profile or print mode defaulted. So first thing to make sure is we always need to make sure we have our port selected. So without your driver it will not know where to print to. Then we go down to our print row print mode. This is the one that's actually going to be defaulted. So for this I'm going to say I want to go generic banner 1 fast production. I'm going to go to next. I'm going to go to the next section. Obviously this is for a um, for a banner so we don't need a cutter. So I'm going to go continue without setting up a cutter. I'm going to go next and I'm going to call this one banner 1. Go next, I'm going to leave these settings as they are, I'm going to leave those ones as they are, I'm going to leave that as it is, I'm going to press finish and we now have a new queue. One thing to note is that this job I have in my print and cut queue does not show up in my banner 1 queue. This makes it really easy to navigate your jobs. So other functions of our queues, we can go to queue, manage queues and using this I could also set up a new printer if I wanted to. So plus and then I could go and install printer. I could choose a different printer in here and it would install the printer and we can create another queue for another printer. Some versions of VPM do not allow this and you will have to upgrade your, your package to be able to do this. I can also create groups. So both of these are for my M series. So I'm gonna create a group by going to this end one here. I can put a name, so M, series I'm going to go OK so then I'm going to put that one in there as well and I'm going to close so under my main title here I've got M series and then I have a, my sub queue which is my printing cut and my banner queue this is again really makes it really easy to navigate different queues once you start getting loads of them across the top if I wanted to change my properties of my queue the easiest way of doing it is to double click on the top bar. Then we have our general settings which I can change my print mode and this is the defaulted print mode to this queue. I can set up hot folders, my media setup so I can change my margins if I want to and again these are all defaulted to the queue so this will affect every job that you bring in. I can change different layout managements, printer status, job reserve, crop marks if I wanted them and grommet setups as well. All we do is we OK that and that will save it to the queue. So that is how we create a queue in Visual Production Manager from CadLink.